morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm Chuck Alicious, Chuck Williams. And we're joined this morning by uh, Gabe Kragic. I hope I said that right. He's CEO of uh, the Random Act of Kindness Can Change a Life. On September 15th, uh, this uh, marketing service company that supports community banks and credit unions teamed up with local media star to embark on the Small Town Big Dreams Tour. Since then, the CEO, Gabe, and Charlie Rocket have been traveling from town to town together to help people with big dreams fill their potential and to inspire millions to make an impact in someone else's life. Uh, Gabe, thank you for being a part of the show this morning. I, I just have to ask you this. Why is it important to celebrate kindness and where the idea of the 100,000 acts of kindness, where'd that come from? Well, I don't think it's saying anything controversial right now to say that there's a lot of darkness in the world. And we as a company have love as a value. We want to try to be a part of spreading the light. And we had a client event not too long ago where we brought in community bank and credit union leaders to Austin, Texas. And we challenged them to put on bright red capes and to take little red envelopes that had money in it, like five to ten dollars and a note that said, because every little bit matters and so do you. We gave them these envelopes and we challenged them to go give them to random strangers. And I watched as these folks would go around and talk to people. And I saw one lady in the corner who was sitting all by herself and the credit union exec went and gave her the envelope and she opened it up and she barely even noticed the money. But when she got to the words, you matter, big tears well up in her eyes and her face turns beat red. And she looks up at the lady that had given her the card. And she says, you have no idea what this means to me in this moment. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. We've got clients across the country in all 50 states. We've got more than enough folks that can be a part of this. Community institutions love to give back to their community. They're about human connection. And I just thought, what if we did it in massive scale? How many people out there that really need a positive message like this right now would get to hear it because we said we're going to go be a part of a tidal wave of kindness? Was there any one thing that sparked this movement for you guys? Well, I mean, what sparked it in part was I had the idea to do 100,000 random acts of kindness, and I got introduced to Charlie Rocket, who's a big social media guy. He's got 9 million followers on TikTok, Instagram, and all the other things. And I was just randomly introduced to him, and I told him my idea, and he said, Gabe, that's incredible. I also want to do 100,000 random acts of kindness. Now, think about it. How rare is it that two people in the universe both want to go do 100,000 random acts of kindness? How rare is it that they're talking to each other at the same time and saying, yeah, let's go do it? So we knew that that was something that we were going to go do, and we kicked it off with a four-week tour across the country in our RVs from Orlando to L.A., giving back to people and helping people everywhere we could across the country and beginning to raise awareness for this big event we're doing on November 3rd um, where we're going to do 100,000 random acts of kindness with our community institutions all across the country. What makes the community financial institutions unique in helping with a project like this? Well, you know, in Amarillo, we've got Texas Plains Federal Credit Union, and they're a deep part of the community. Their leaders live in the community. They love the community. And when we went and asked them to be a part of this, they were jumping on it right away, and they had different ideas for each of their branches, where some of the branches are going into local gas stations and buying free gas for folks. Others are going into coffee shops. Others are going to a local high school football game, but all with the same theme of giving back. And if you went and took this idea to Bank of America, it just wouldn't be the same. I mean, you've got leaders that live in some other place, and I'm sure they might care about their branches in Amarillo, but it's not the same as Texas Plains Federal Credit Union, where they're there. They know the people that they serve. They love the members that they serve. And when they have a chance to give back, they're giving back in the same community that they all live in and benefit from when it thrives. And that's just fundamentally different than what you see from the mega banks by design, because right. leaders live in the same communities that they serve. Uh, Gabe, how can I participate? How can I be a part of the 100,000 Acts of Kindness? Well, thank you for asking, and I hope you will. You can go to kasasalove.com. That's K-A-S-A-S-A-L-O-V-E.com. And there'll be some information about the event there. And on November 3rd, we're going to launch a button. And this is just a simple button that you and everybody else that's listening can push 
every time they were kind. So if they don't normally smile at people and they're kind of shy, maybe on that day they boldly smile to strangers and try to brighten their day. And for everybody they smile at, they can go and push the button and track their progress, helping us get all the way to 100,000 random acts. Uh, one quick last question for you, Gabe. Uh, uh, you talked about with Casasa uh, uh, small acts. Now, we, we always think we have to do this big, huge, grandiose thing, but you, you've seen it. It can just be a few kind words can make a big difference for someone. Like oh, my goodness. That's so true. That's the whole point of this whole thing. That's the little insight that made me want to do it in the first time when I saw that girl tear up and it was just the words, you matter. And there are so many people going through dark situations right now that they take and carry that burden on the inside and you don't know it. But if you go give that person who's struggling with a big burden, some words of encouragement, remind them that they matter, you have no idea what a difference that can make in somebody's life. And that's what I'm excited about this event to see what kind of impact we can make on so many people's lives that I know need it. If you want more information, go to www.casasa.com. They're also on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Uh, be a part of the change. Uh, promotes community banking and CASA promotes community banks and credit unions and inspires people to bank locally so they can do more good. Uh, Gabe, thank you for what you're doing, man. And we'll participate on the third and be a part thank of you. some random act of kindness. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Once again, if you need more information, go to www.casa.com. They're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or LinkedIn, you never know when a kind word can change somebody's destiny. Be a part of that.